medicine cabinet and Barley is currently sick right now she's she's doing okay at the moment but I wanted to kind of go over I wrote this in my Facebook group if you guys want to join my Facebook group you can it's in the link below and I wrote in there what you guys wanted to see and this definitely was on my mind obviously with everything going on who's mommy talking to she's I kind of wanted to go through what I have listen we moved in here and everything just kind of got put in here so I'm going to be going through this as I'm talking about each thing with you, so just kind of hang out. I'm going to give you some information on each thing that I have um, that's in there and kind of go over why I had it in the first place, and hopefully that's of use to you. Um, I would love to hear what you guys have, what you use um, in your cabinets. This is a community, so I'm super glad that you're all here. So let's go ahead and get started, and I will start pulling things out of my cabinet. I have a little helper right here. Poor baby is so sick right now. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna pull stuff out. Oh, you guys know what this is. It's the cleanse that we did a while ago. If you're interested in it, you can totally use my coupon code. I think it's still active. It's IV15. This is not sponsored. <laughs> um, my husband's vitamin D. He takes this one um, as well as the spray because his vitamin D was really low. Um, our vitamin D spray, which we currently have two. This one's almost out again, same company. You can use this if you want. Vitamin D is so, so, so important for hormone regulation. You guys, people that are low in vitamin D are probably carrying a good five to 10 pounds that they shouldn't be if they would just add vitamin D back into their diet. They also have sleeping problems, digestion problems, depression. I mean, it's so important, not just for nursing mamas, not just for pregnant ladies. Eucalyptus spray. This is very not good quality. <laughs> I bought it from Walgreens, that was silly. I don't even know why it's in there. It does smell good when I spray it on my curtains. Oh no. Oh no. Vitamin B12, I always talk about this. I really love vitamin B12 that is in a tincture or a spray. If it's in a spray, even better because um, it's just as a mom, like you're holding baby, right? You just you don't have time to get water or mix it with something or you know, this one's almost gone, but we grabbed this one sometimes too, but currently loving the spray, which is probably out. So Maddie's Organic Cough Syrup. I've used this a couple times. It's incredible. It's made out of really good, clean stuff. So I love this. This video might end up being super long. I might have to break it up into two. These Dr. Morris's herbs are incredible. Before I got pregnant, I was really focusing on like my bladder health and my kidney health and my colon health. And this was just something that we took a lot of. This one's actually almost empty. What do you got? I think daddy's back. Um, vitamin D3, you guys will see I have a lot of different vitamin Ds in here. This one's almost gone too as well. I had time to do that. Like I know I'm running out, so I'll buy more and then not finish the other one. So I need to make sure I do that. Maca, really, really good for um, if you're trying to get pregnant, if um, maybe your husband is dealing with infertility issues, this one's really good as well. Or if you have low testosterone, this one can be really good. It also though can hurt you. So most of these things, um, dosing is very, very important as well as looking at it from a holistic approach. So things that you can't just take one thing for one thing, if that makes sense. You have to make sure that it's not gonna hurt something else going on in your body. So for example, maca, I'm very sensitive to, so I can't take it too often. Um, I te it tends to make me like super emotional um, and a little bit almost like aggressive. So I don't take that too often. Um, here's again the vitamin D that my husband takes. That's actually prescribed from the VA. Here's another bladder and kidney tonic. So you'll see I have a lot of things that are in tincture as well as capsule form. I have a serious issue with digestion so I couldn't necessarily focus on things I had to look at the whole picture right like I was just saying holistically this is incredible I'm gonna tell you what's in this just because I love all of these herbs it's dandelion leaf corn silk juniper berry golden rod leaf couch grass root parsley leaf horsetail herb and stinging nettle and cordyceps um, super incredible what are you doing monkey I also have some peppermint oil. Again, this isn't the best brand, but um, we were trying to use this on my dog for fleas. It didn't work super well, well, but peppermint is amazing for so many things. So always good to have this on hand. Oh, 
the mac daddy of all things you should always have in your cabinet this is really good for hey come here sleeping really good for digestion if you deal with depression if you deal with troubles absorbing vitamin d you really need to add this into your diet um there's a couple of different brands out there i always tend to stick to this one because i just love it it's my favorite it's never served me wrong um and i just really like it so that's the one that i get and i get the big one from sprouts because i go through it um, again, another B12 because, as I said, I have a lot. B complex. Now, B complexes tend to make me super anxious. So if you're someone who maybe deals with anxiety issues, just be super careful when taking Bs. Um, but it tends to just make me feel very, very anxious and very unbalanced. Oh wait, let's talk about this first. Thank you. Okay, this is Sex Dust. Um, I got this actually in a PR package. All the herbs in it though, I'm a very big fan of, particularly one I talk about a lot on my channel, which is Cisandra Berry. However, I felt that this one made me a little bit aggressive. Like, when I say aggressive, I'm like angry and just, I don't know, aggressive. That's the only way I can put it. The two things in there that I was a little bit concerned is the maca, as I said, does make me a little bit aggressive. And then uh, this is, no, not Cisandra Berry, the, um, horny goat weed, which is said to increase, again, your testosterone, and so I just didn't feel very great when I took it, so um, I might try it again. My hormones are obviously up and down because I'm breastfeeding, so I might give it a try, but it's good in coffee, smoothies, if you're someone that wants to give this a try, it's a good idea. I mean, your husbands can take that too, as well. Um, that's, I don't know what that is, Justin. Oh, what you doing back there? Again, bled uh, bladder and kidney tonic. Two, I know we talked about this a little bit already. One, so these are different levels. Uh, some herbs, if you take them, um, how do I explain this? Some herbs, if you take them like too soon or depending on where you are in the spectrum of what you're dealing with, it can be too hard of a like a detox. So you wanna make sure that you're doing the right one for you. You don't wanna try something and it's just too hard and it pulls too much, if that makes sense. So um, I had both of those because I was taking them at two different levels. Obviously you can see this one's never open, so I never moved up to this one, um, but I have it on hand whenever I'm ready to do that. Um, iodine, really good if you're dealing with like radiation poisoning or if you're someone that maybe flies a lot or um, if you deal with, maybe you had an injury or a car accident and you're getting um, x-rays often or maybe you work at a facility that um, you're doing x-rays a lot or you're just dealing with any sort of radiation, potential radiation contamination, this one is really good to take as well. So that's why I have that. Hey baby, careful, careful. <laughs> how's, your, how's your banana? Um, this is a blood tonic. Uh, this is really good. There was a while there where I was working on um, getting some things out of my body. I know you guys know that I've talked a lot about dealing with like tinea versicolor and that kind of stuff. Um, when you're killing off viruses and pathogens in the body, you really have to keep the blood clean because the die-off is so hard. So having things like this um, are really good. This was a really good tincture. This one I got um, when we owned our juice bar. We actually, this was one of our suppliers. The very first thing that's in here is cat's claw. Really, really good for like dealing with um, like fungus, uh, those types of things. And then Paul de Arco. Paul de Arco is another really good blood cleaner and that one just keeps the blood open and moving so things don't get backed up and don't kind of redistribute um, throughout the enzymes. I've never been a good, a big fan of enzymes for me personally, but they're always good to have on hand. If you're feeling sick or maybe you ate really poorly and you think you need a little bit of help, you can use these. However, if they're really, really beneficial or not. So there's that. I do keep them on hand though. Um, okay, what else? Oh yeah, Arnica, incredible for pain. Um, a couple of times that I had mastitis, I did use this directly after birth. I didn't use this particular one, I used a cream. But Arnica's incredible, you should definitely always have that on hand for pain management um, that I got from Dr. Morris. This is for the lymph system. The lymph and kidneys go together. If you are someone that deals with acne or you can't digest fats very well or um, you're constantly getting sick or your lymph nodes swell up often or you're constantly dealing with sinus pressure in the head, um, detoxing the lymph is really good. Again, with the numbers, this is detox lymph one. Oh, thank you, you got some soap. No, it's maybe. Yeah, this is this is what work from home mom life is like. It's the best. Um, oh yeah, colloidal silver. Colloidal silver is incredible um, when you're sick. This is really good. There is, a few years ago, like most health trends, things come and go. 
things come and go and um this one was really popular a few years ago she's got my hair this one's really popular a few years ago and um there was some talk about it having issues with the skin anyways it's really good to have you can put it in a spray bottle and spray it around your house when your kids are sick or if you're going on an airplane um spray your stuff down take it in a little bottle spray your seat down it's really good for that um yeah clear your silver I always get that brand. There's no really rule why. Um, cap roll. This is another one that's really good for candida or detoxing like um, pathogens in the body. It is really strong. Um, so again, you want to pair it with something like Paul Diarco to clean the blood because you will get die off from this. Uh, choline, really good for the brain, especially developing the brain, but it's also um, really sensitive with the liver. So. Um, if you take choline at a high dosage and your liver isn't quite ready, it can have um, kind of like a backfire. So you kind of have to be slow with something like choline. There is foods that are naturally high in choline, like watermelon's really high in choline. There's a couple other I can't think of on top of my head, but I know for sure watermelon is. Oh, shrimp, I think, is high in choline. Um, but yeah, I kind of keep that on hand. I took that for a little bit when I was pregnant. Um, biotin, don't really take that. This is super old. Great for seed extract, really good for the gallbladder and the liver. Um, again, also really good if you're trying to like detox candida or any type of pathogen. Another enzyme in here. Um, I'm gonna have to cut this short. We're gonna have to do part two on this because it's getting super long. But oregano oil, again, really incredible if you're sick or if you're trying to like do. Uh, any type of like parasite cleanse or um, detoxing can candida. Again, a lot of these are super strong, so they really need to be done properly. You can't just start taking something like this because the likelihood of success when you're doing it is not very high because you're not gonna feel very good. So um, these will detox your gallbladder and your liver very strongly. Um, so you wanna do like a carrier system. So. I know I talked about this before, but if you do like a, if you clean the house, right, and you pick up all this trash and you put it outside, like it doesn't do it any good if it's just sitting outside or if it's just sitting in your kitchen and there's piles of trash. You need the garbage man to come take it out. Same thing when you're dealing with herbs like this that are killing things off in the body. You need a cleaning system to come in and clean it out. So that's something to put in your colon or something to put um, in your blood to make sure things are constantly moving. So something like this would be like, um, pairing it with psyllium husks and bentonite clay and then a blood cleaner as well just to make sure things are constantly exiting the body and not getting built up of all the kind of backlash of that detoxing. Um, sunflower lecithin! Is that how you say it? You guys, lifesaver when it comes to mastitis. You need this in your cabinet if you're a breastfeeding mama. I am obsessed with this. It made me feel so good. So I keep this on hand. I order this off Amazon. I'm sure there's other brands. This is just the one that I got. What else? Oh, maybe a 12. I already took this today. This is again MB Pure. I think my code is IV15 if you guys want to try it. There's my vitamin D3. We kind of keep these together because we do take them daily. Again, that's MB Pure. This is Arnica gel that my sister-in-law sent to me, but again, Arnica for pain. Super uh, yeast cleanse. Let me tell you guys the herbs that are in this. I didn't end up continuing to take this, but um, caprylic acid, which we already talked about. That's this one. Uh, Paul Dearco, again, like I told you, cleans the blood. Grapefruit seed extract, which we also already talked about. Um, garlic, licorice, and tea tree oil. Now, you guys, this I know a lot of you guys are mamas that are on my channel. You cannot take all of these, um, so you have to keep that in mind that... For example, licorice root is not safe to take when you're breastfeeding or pregnant. So just keep that in mind. Um, my hubby's stuff. Devil's Claw, another one for like yeast, candida, pathogens. Jesus is having a good old time sitting in the sink right now. Um, stress B, fiber fusion. That's not a good one. My detox that was hubby's detox. Um, what else? Uh, Okay, this was the prenatal I was taking for a little bit. I kind of uh, rotated them a little bit, um, but this did get bought out by Nestle, so you kind of have to, um, however you feel about that ethically, that's up to you, but I do love that. I take, took that as well as pre-mama. Um, this is some milk thistle if you're someone who's dealing with hormonal issues or maybe you can't quite get back to um, the hormonal balance that you were at maybe after breastfeeding. 
then that would be something good for you to take. It is strong though, however, so just keep that in mind. Um, this is my husband's. This was New Mood. I did try to take this. Um, this is On It brand. I did a job for them a, like a long time ago, like three years ago. But this was another one that I felt made me feel aggressive. So it just was something that I just down here and look at the goodies. Yeah, sit down. Oh yeah. These are pH strips so you can test your urine or maybe test things that you're drinking or eating. They're not super, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Reliable, but I thought they were cool. Ooh, this looks like it got wet. Probably not accurate anymore. What are you doing? Oh no. Oh no. What else we got in here? Watch your head. Mm. This is um, Body Defense. This is from my Dr. Flores. I love them. They're no longer in business though, but absolute favorite cleanse ever. I'm like hoarding these for when I'm done breastfeeding. I will do that again. This is for like parasites to clean the body. Everyone has parasites by the way. Um, this is Wormwood, Clove, Black Walnut. We already talked about that. Pumpkin, Peppermint Leaf, Grapefruit Seed Extract. We talked about that. Licorice, Oregano, Turmeric. We talked about all of those things. All of them together though, it's pretty harsh in the body in my opinion, so I would never do that breastfeeding. We've got some elderberry. I should probably give her. I'm gonna give her one of these right now. Let's see how she's doing. Hey baby. I'm gonna... Here, baby. you want one? Let's slide it in half. Here. Um, but my sister-in-law sent me these and we still have them. I was really sick a while back. So was the baby and she sent those, which were great. Okay, I think that's probably as, as far as I'm going to be able to get today. The rest of these are like my husband's from the VA. Um, melatonin, my husband takes, that's from the VA. Yeah, I think that's it right now. I will do a round two of this because I have so many more herbs and stuff that I put in smoothies and um, that my husband takes for different things and those are all pretty important to me and I would love to pass the information on to you. So I am going to end this video here. I hope this was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you're new and head over to Facebook and go to my group which is Pretty Balanced uh, Health Enthusiasts and I love it there because I can actually chat with you guys and comment and um, just have a conversation, which is why I do YouTube in the first place. So anyways, if you guys are new to my channel, thank you so much. I love you. I'm Ivy and this is Miss Barley. Right? Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. And we do health and wellness videos. Anyways, thanks for watching you guys. I love you mamas. Take your vitamins today and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Say bye. Oh, you're so cute. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, Rose hip seed. I don't even remember why I had this. Um I don't know why I have that.